Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we had talked about the middlewares and we have seen a couple of example. In this video, we're going to start working on the user router, okay? So here I have opened the project, make sure you do that. So the very first thing I have to do is I'll come here and I'll give this comment user section and I will take this variable, get all user, okay? We have to follow the same structure. So request response is gonna be an arrow function. And here I'm going to send the request with the standard score in the form of JSON. So the data we want to send is success. We're not going to build any functionality for the user router, okay? Because this is a separate part in which we're going to talk about more detail because we have to work on the authentication section. So just now we are building the layout for the users. So let's do that. And in this, I'm going to send this message, enter ser internal server error. So because of the five error, and the same response I want to send in all the requests. Simply replicate it five times. Okay. And change the name to this will become get single user. This will become, let's say, create user, update user, and this one is delete user. So these are the five requests we have. Okay. And now we have to create the router. So router and we have to follow the same structure which we have followed in the nft so v1 users and user is the entire resource section and on that we go to call this method so we have this get all user method we have the post method and create nft now we'll come down we have to target the id so we'll take the router and we will assign id and we'll call all the methods so the first one we have the get for the single user we have to call the a uh, batch for update user and we have to call delete for delete user so that's the router we have here so i hope these things are making sense right now just we are building the layout okay so there is a separate video on which we are building entire functionality for the user okay so that's looking good we have all these things now what we can do we're going to simply select come and bring it here so we can follow the proper order so that's what we have and so close all these functions so that's looking good so that's the user section we have and that's the id so let's come here and let's have a look so simply close all this existing make sure to save it okay otherwise we have to type one over and over again so save it all this existing one and now let's test this out so we have to create the user router so we'll simply copy and we'll come here and paste and we're going to change this name to user.nft okay so if i make a request so before we do that let's save it so here we we'll call get all user and we're going to save in the same folder nft save it okay so that's what we have simply click on send request and here you can see we got the response error our status code is also working five working fine 500 and here we have the message internal server error so this is working fine and the exact response we are sending for all the routes okay all these get alls one okay for create single so we are sending the same response okay and here you can see our morgan dev dependency is also working we can able to see the log in our terminal so that's looking fine so that's what we have and now let's come here we're going to take this nft router okay so now our code is growing in app js file and this is the best time that we should start splitting the code into different folder and file structure so we're going to follow the mbvc model we have a detailed disk talk on that so don't need to worry about it so it's time to simply split this code into a different files one for the user one for the router one for the nfts okay so let's do that so before we do that here we have to take a router variable so let's create a variable we'll call nft routers okay so and in this we're going to use this express router and now we have to build the primary router so app dot use we'll use this middleware and this is the main router for the nft okay in this router the nft resource is located so let's simply copy this one and paste here and here we're going to call this nft router nft router okay so because this router will be in this app.js file so whenever any request will come here it will first hit this route 
this main nft Rousey source and after that it will go into the different folder that whatever resource the user want okay that will make sense okay don't be confused so this is for the nft and let's uh, come here and we have to take one more for the user as well so let's say user users router and express dot router and the same things we have to do with the user so simply take app dot use and here we go to provide the user so simply grab this one the resource locations and we have to paste it here and we're going to call this user router okay that's looking perfect so that's our router is ready and now we can start splitting the code so things are looking good so this is the main and here we're going to replace this one because our primary router became that one okay that this is become the primary and this is become the secondary so we can simply remove this one simply remove this one I know right now it sounds seems like that what we are doing exactly but it will make sense when we'll do that testing okay so just do the way I'm doing it so it's looking perfect and same thing we have to do with the users we have to replace this and we have to leave only the ID so that's perfect okay so first the request will hit this and then it will move to the other routers we're going to bring this down here okay and that's the router we have and then it will start hitting the routers so it's looking perfect now we have to replace this with the nft router and we have to replace this with the user router so it can identify that what to trigger okay that's looking good we have this routers looking perfect we have all the methods that is looking fine so let's come here and let's have a try so here we are on the get let's make the request and here you can see internal server error it's working fine okay so we can easily able to get the response and this is the message response we are actually sending let's come back to the other get and here we are to look for the nft so let's make the request and here you can see we got all the nfts so it's working fine let's do with this create nft it's also working fine so whatever refactor we have done that's all looking good and working absolutely fine so let's come here and now what we're going to do is everything's working fine let's come here and now we have to create the folder and file structure which is called mvc model okay we're going to talk about this but just follow along with me so i'll create a folder in the main directory and i will call routes okay inside this we're going to keep all the routers all the routers for the resources for the nfts for the reviews for the users okay so let's create the nft route first nft route.js okay so that's the one we have now we have to create one more this is going to be the user route that's looking fine now let's come here to the nfts and here we have to grab this route okay so simply come here and what we're going to do is so simply come here and simply copy this because i want to provide you this code simply copy and comment out and we have to paste here and this is the fourth part so let's come up here and change this to fourth so that's look good so far everything's looking good and now we have to do is simply cut this and paste here and that's what we have and now we have to grab the entire router simply grab the router and we have to paste here okay here we're going to import the express because we are using express route okay so we have to import express express and here we can do this refactor okay instead of nft route we can simply call route because this route is totally dedicated to the nfts okay so let's remove this route and here we going to simply uh let's come back here we're going to import export that okay module dot export and we want to export the route so we can receive okay here so now what we can do we have to get all these responses okay so right now we don't have anything simply select all these for the nfts and till here and simply cut and simply come and paste on top of here paste here so here we have all the responses in a separate file okay we're going to say separate this responses as well in the control file so just follow along with me so that's what we have here and here we need couple of things so that's look good let's come here 
and we need this data okay which we are reading from our nft sample so we need this simply cut this one as well and we have to paste here so we can send it back so that's look good now we have to come here and we have to grab this fs module as well and simply going to paste it right on top of this that's looking good now we can come here so we have our fs module and now we have to do the same thing for the user router as well so simply paste here and we have to get the routers as well so let's simply select and get it and paste here now we have to simply export it route and simply replace this one route and and that's what we're going to export from this file okay that's look good now we have to come here and we have to grab all these methods responses which we have written for the users and simply we'll bring it here and we'll go to paste it here and that's look good so far everything's looking good and now we have to import the express module express package so things will look fine it's required and express so look good so far we have all these things let's come back into our app.js and right now you can see it's looking much better we have this clean environment this is the generally what happens when in the apis app.js file is only for the middleware okay so those function which you want to run in every single request those are the function those are the module you define in app.js file okay so this is the structure we have to follow and here you have noticed that we don't have this nft route and user route okay this is going to be the primary resource section okay so when any request will come it will hit this route and it will move according to the files and then it will send the response back so now we have to import the files which we have exported from the user route and from the uh, nft route so let's import that file so we'll call it um, what the name we have given so let's call it uh, copy this and paste here nft is route and that's coming from the um, dot slash and that's coming from the routes slash we need the nft routes simply replicate this and we have to change this to user route here we have to make the change user route so this time everything would be look perfect and now we can test come here and here we can see that we have some problem in our code so simply refresh it simply save it and let's try to find out here so we have problem in our utils actually we have problem in our file directory okay so the file we are importing for the data we, we have problem in that so we can do one thing we can go to this nft routes and here we are importing the data and make sure you have to do the changes here so right now the data is coming from this nft okay and this file is inside the route file so we have to make the change here okay so let's come here and here we have to say dot dot slash and here still we have the error sorry my bad here we have to provide slash again and right now if this is working fine our app running on 3000 ports so it's looking fine so let's bring it out and let's save one more time everything is working fine so whatever refactor we have done does looks pretty good let's simply close all these functions and do the same thing for the routers sorry users that looks good close this one close this one and let's uh, do one thing let's bring this terminal down and so so far everything's looking good and right now you can see we have very less code in our app.js file okay so that's looking perfect and now we can do something better as well so let's come here before we do something better we have to test whatever we have done so as you can see we are getting the data let's post you can see we are getting that and the data is increasing so everything's looking fine our error handler is also working fine so everything's looking good so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video that how you can refactor the code according to the mbc mvc model okay we're going to talk about this okay you heard this word a couple of times but we haven't discussed about this but we're going to definitely do it okay so let's move to the next video